It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. You're tuning into your feel good breakfast show. Express the right here on SABC3. Something fun right now heading your way. Now, according to Malusi Chabalala, there's an Umzulu in all of us. Now, he's been indulging this on a Facebook page called Malusi's Everyday Zulu, which went viral due to his daily teachings and witticisms of Zulu words and concepts. Now, the page has been so successful that Malusi has turned some of his most iconic lessons into a book that launched just last night. And he's joining Expresso this morning to share more with us. Malusi, my friend, how are you doing? I'm good in yourself. Good, man. Good. Oh, I wish I can speak Zulu now after all this, but hopefully with this book, it's going to help me point you in the right direction. This is very cool, my friend. Thank you very much. Now, apart from, from being uh, Zulu yourself, um, what feeds this love of yours for the Zulu language and your passion to indulge in teaching it to others? It's not specifically my passion for the Zulu language. I have a passion for all indigenous South African languages. And I think we should all learn each other's languages, but I am Umzulu, so that's the only one that I could even begin to attempt to teach. <laughs> exactly. Know. Yeah, so if I had spoken other ones as well, authentically, I would try to teach those as well. Okay, okay, yeah. but we're focusing on Zulu, and I think it's great, and I mentioned the fact that it went viral on Facebook with your, with your page, Malusi's yeah. Everyday Zulu, which I think is phenomenal. Where did this idea start for you, and how did you eventually then turn it into an actual book? Well, it, it started as just having fun with my friends. It wasn't really teaching at the beginning. It was just fun with Isizulu. So I'd post a word and write a ridiculous story around it. <laughs> and then one day, um, I think a blog or an, an e-magazine wrote about it, and I got all sorts of followers. And that led to it becoming a teaching tool. What do you think it is um, about what you've done that really resonated with people? Why do you think it really took off the way it did? I think it's the relatable stories. It's, it's the fun stories that we can all relate to. It's things that we all go through as South Africans, regardless of whether Um Zulu, you're Sutu, you're white, you're Indian. It's the human truths. Yeah. So, so what are some of the things in terms of how do you go about teaching? I mean, is it, is it only words? Is it phrases? I mean, what do you address? What are you aiming to teach? It's, it's, it's words and expressions. And it's not your common words such as the Saubonas and Unjani. It's, it's words that I'm hoping if a non-Zulu uses on another Zulu, it will show them that you really are trying and you are going beyond just the, the basics. Yeah. And, and why do you think it is so important, I think, for, for South Africans, specifically focused on, on the Zulu language, to kind of contextualize these words in the way that you present them as well? I think it's important to understand them so that you can even use them within your own language. Because South African languages are, are quite fluid. Yeah. Because we're a it fluid kind of society. Kind of, yeah. yeah. So, and, and that's how I write these posts, in a manner where you are able to use it in English or in Afrikaans or any other language that you speak. Yeah, and I love the fact that we as South Africans, being such a diverse nation, we, we tend to kind of throw in bits and pieces from all the languages. Exactly. And that's what makes us unique. Exactly, and that's how I handle it in the book. I even anglicize some of the words, you know, so I'll, 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 I'll turn a word like papa into papist and that sort of thing. Okay, so, so let me ask you this. I mean, now, now I want to learn something, all okay. right? Um, what are your kind of top three favorite words or, or concepts that you love to teach to people? All right. Let's listen to um, them. The one is vele. Vele. Yeah, vele. Vele is, 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 is a very powerful word. So let's say, for instance, you've been cut out doing something, you okay. know, or gossiping. <laughs> okay, you know. okay. So if you're going to be a gossip, you can't be a gossip and a coward, right? Yeah. So you must just say vele. Yeah, I said it. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, so... Whenever you're in a situation and you're cut out, just say, yeah, vele. Okay, I did it. Vele. I said it. Vele. I, yeah. I can use that. I can definitely use that. Vele. <laughs> yeah. All right, something else. Yeah. Um, another one is oxalayo. Oxalayo. Oxalayo, yeah. So oxalayo is the equivalent of the fact of the matter. Okay. Or what oxalayo. remains when it's yeah. all said and done, what remains. So again, you know, if you're in a situation where you've been bested by someone, like you, for instance, you're better looking than me, <laughs> I'll say <laughs> oxalayo. I have a book. As a matter of fact, I'm still alive. Damn. Uh, what if I said I had a book? Uh, uh, I'd still say Oxalayo. Oxalayo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, give us one more, man. I love um, this. Vele, Oxalayo. Okay. Yeah. And Nawe. And Nawe. 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 Yeah. Okay. Nawe is you too. You too. Yeah. Oh, Nawe. Nawe. Okay. Yeah. All right. So all right, if all someone right. says something terrible to you, say Nawe. Same to you. <laughs> Same to you. Now Same to you. Now we. Yeah. Well, Lucy, I, I love this, man. Put it there. This is awesome stuff. So people can, you, find your, can find your book in all good stores, uh, good bookstores? Yeah, yeah. 
Fantastic. The, the book is dude. out, yeah. I love it. And of course, continue that good work on that Facebook page yeah. as well, Every man. day I keep posting, yeah. This was fun, man. And uh, you know what? As Tata Madiba uh, once said as well, if you talk to a man in a language he understands, it goes to his head. But if you talk to him in his language, that goes to his heart. And I think that is brilliant in terms of what you are doing, man. Thank um, you, you know, language, uh, it, it can unite us if we're able to use it correctly, yeah? Yeah, no it, way. it certainly can. <laughs> no <yeah>. way. Uh, <laughs> Malusi's uh, Everyday Zulu new book uh, by Malusi himself, it dispenses relevance and humorous lessons on the Zulu language. It is now available, like I said, in all major bookstores. Nice, bro.